That entire solo that I just improvised was based off just this one concept. This is called a two note enclosure, one scale tone above and one chromatic pitch below. It can be heard in a lot of different contexts. We can turn this concept into a series of several exercises, but a lot of people have trouble taking an exercise and turning it into improvisation. Bridging that gap is one of the biggest things that can hold people back from developing or even committing to exercises in a meaningful way. But fear not. I'm going to share with you nine practice techniques to help bridge your exercises into real improvisation. So let's go ahead and check out these exercises that we've been doing in the new Shed Club, which is a program that Chad Lefkowitz Brown and I launch where we all practice together. Each week, me or Chad will upload a lesson on an exercise, technique, standard, or concept that we'll all workshop together throughout the week. It's a really cool way to join a community and get instruction for a super affordable rate. We're launching this at $7.99 per month, which is essentially the price of a latte. The link to sign up and join us can be found in the description below. So, the first exercise we did for this two note enclosure is to target every note of the major scale. As you can see in the enclosures here, every upper note was a scale tone above and every lower note was a half step below. One way you can translate this exercise into improvisation is by taking a chord progression like Autumn Leaves and enclose one random chord tone per chord, keeping the rhythm exactly the same. <laughs> A slight variant of this would be to do the same thing, but this time improvising with the rhythms. A great practice technique to try is to voice lead your guide tones using enclosures while using a consistent rhythm. I personally find this really helps at practicing embellishing those crucial core tones. When this feels pretty solid, try it again, but this time improvise with the rhythms and randomly omit some of those targets. Another neat technique you can try is to first reduce each chord into just a triad by omitting the seventh or the sixth. Then in each measure, enclose a random triadic tone. Then wherever you are, descend down the triad in whatever inversion you find yourself in. Let's keep the rhythm the same all the way through. Once these are feeling pretty comfortable, explore other ways to turn the difficulty up a notch. I'll share a way with you. Let's take a look at a major triad. 
Now, let's apply that two note enclosure concept to each note of the triad. Now, let's find an optimal major chord found in each chord of autumn leaves. Finally, let's apply this concept to each triad within each chord while improvising with the rhythms. That's a pretty mentally intensive workout. There are some even more complex variations of this. Here's one I found from Dr. Michael Schultz, soloing over Triste. That is such a beautiful line. When taking a closer look, you'll notice that he's enclosing the F-sharp major triad over that B major 7 chord. But the triad is actually stair-stepping down in a zigzag motion. Then he turns that into a 16th note, so it gives you this 3 against 4 melodic rhythm. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Beautiful. After trying a few or all of these exercises, I like to end the session off by just forgetting all of them and just improvise. <laughs> That feels really good. How I personally gauge improvement in improvisation is if things start to feel more and more free. As if it doesn't really matter where I am, I always just sort of feel like I have a lot of options. I want more and more and more of that feeling. So, what did all of these techniques have in common? Part of this exercise was strictly planned, and then the other part was up to you to improvise with. This hybrid approach, this is the bridge between exercises and improvisation. You are improvising, but also completing an objective. The objective is just like resistance in the gym. This is where your creative gains and flexibilities are made. But when you're back on that bandstand, it's time to forget all of this and just play. If you want to join the Shed Club community, we'll be working through a new concept every week together and workshopping ways you can merge it within your own improvisation. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for 195,000 subscribers. Have a good day.